going to explain you how to identify the first, second and third class of liver. In first class of liver, fulcrum is in the middle. In second class of liver, load is in the middle. While in third class of liver, effort is in the middle. In first class of liver, the mechanical advantage can be less than one, equal to one or greater than one. In second class of liver, the mechanical advantage is always greater than one, while in third class of liver, the mechanical advantage is always lesser than one. Now, how to know when is the mechanical advantage greater than one, equals to one or less than one? Well, uh, the mechanical advantage is defined as the ratio between the load and the effort. Okay, we can remember it by the name M-A-L-E. Mechanical advantage equals to load by effort. Okay, and mechanical advantage can also be defined as the ratio of effort arm by load arm. So if the effort arm is more, then the mechanical advantage will be more. And if the load arm is more, then the mechanical advantage will be less. Now what is effort arm? Effort arm is the distance between the fulcrum and the effort. While the load arm is the distance between the fulcrum and the load. So I hope you understood this. Human arm is an example of third class of lever. Caesar is an example of first class of lever. Okay. I hope you understood this. Thanks for watching this video.